Hey YouTube, this is a video on my home theater setup. It's not really a dedicated home theater, but this is just an update because I haven't updated a video in several years and I've made some changes to my whole setup. And so I thought it was worthy a good time to go ahead and uh, make an update. The speakers are the same. I've had these speakers for like Mm, probably eight years. Bowers and Wilkins all around, 5.1 surround sound. They sound really good. If any of these things you guys want me to make a dedicated video to, I can go ahead and do that. The projector, the subwoofer, the audio receiver, the speakers, whatever. And uh, I'm not going to get rid of these speakers anytime soon, so I really like these speakers. They sound great. Still, after all these years. And what we have here, this is the latest projector I have. This is my third projector I've had. This is the Optima UHD 4K projector. I've had it for about a year. I'm really liking this projector. I mean, it throws an incredible image. It's HDR, and it is, like I said, it's DLP native 4K. Really awesome projector. It's big and bulky. It's one of the things I don't like about it. But it's a it's an awesome projector. Right now I have it on. Today's the Super Bowl, so we're going to go ahead and uh, watch the Super Bowl, and that's pretty much what I use this room for. is dedicated uh, for movies, watch games, or whatever. I still have the same screen. It's an elite 100 inch screen. It's been good. It's a pull down, like I said. Um, you know, hopefully in the future when I get a house, I can. Do like a dedicated home theater more to my liking more to my layout but right now this this does fine you know we really enjoy spending time here and uh, watching games like I said and playing games and watching movies shows whatever and here I'm not sure if you could see let's see if I turn on the light is my uh, wife's clothes as you can see but Behind there is like my audio cabinet. Uh, you can kind of see the uh, audio receiver. It's a Marantz. That receiver is phenomenal. The best receiver I've ever owned. It's um, I've had it for about a year or two. I like, don't remember the series number, the model number. But I used to have a lot of Harman Kardon receivers. But after uh, owning this Marantz, you know, I think I'm going to be a Marantz owner for life. I mean, the, the sound quality the all the options that it comes with it's a little pricier but it's really worth it this this Marantz is really a an impressive unit for sure very high premium quality so i have my xbox one hopefully i can get a ps5 or an xbox series x to take advantage of the 4k that one does native 4k too the xbox one x so i haven't had a reason to really upgrade just yet i have a nintendo switch and like I said, I've had that audio cabinet there, just so my wife kind of taking over the closet here with her clothes. See if you can glance at the, uh, I just have the subwoofer tucked in there. That's the SVS PB1000. Um, that subwoofer there is is a fantastic, fantastic subwoofer. I mean, it sounds really, really good. It hits really low. I think it gets down to like 19, 20 hertz. And so it's a true, true subwoofer. It's not like <clears throat> some of the low-end ones that you can't really, doesn't really pick up on the low ends. So when you hear that subwoofer, it really, really gives a quality low-end sound. So when you're watching a movie or playing a game or whatever, I mean, you hear things that you didn't hear before on the soundtrack. So I can't recommend that subwoofer enough. It's, it's, uh, it's pricey, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a one and go. You know, you get that subwoofer, that's a, that's a subwoofer you keep for a long, long time. Like I said, maybe one day if I get a house or whatever, maybe I'll double up and get another one because it's really that good. And so, yeah, if anybody wants me to, like I said, do a dedicated video on any other components specifically, you know, I can go ahead and do that too. So just let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe.